a new civilization could be coming in 2022 and the source of this speculation is the official rise of kingdoms vietnamese youtube channel so 14 hours ago the official rise of kingdoms vietnamese youtube channel premiered what appears to be an update for vietnam regarding rise of kingdoms moving into 2022 it's crazy that we are like a couple of weeks away from 2022 it's it's actually shocking how quickly december is flying by and you guys know that i like to watch these videos and translate them into english to see if i can get a glimpse of something that rise of kingdoms might have in the works okay now the problem with that is that this video is in full vietnamese and i don't speak vietnamese and obviously this is meant for the vietnamese market it is not meant for for me right but google does translate vietnamese speech into text and then it translates that text into english so this lovely woman here is speaking fluent vietnamese and google is doing its best to translate it and as i was watching this video it's clear that this video's purpose is to you know she's bringing the latest information uh for the vietnamese version of rise of kingdoms okay so next year's version starting in today's video and she says she's revealing new information updated for next year first we will launch a new civilization that's the whole statement then she moves on she just says secondly named admin contestant will be officially launched so basically what they're talking about is i guess rise of kingdoms is coming to vietnam or it's coming back to vietnam or it's getting some sort of official release there and they have some sort of campaign going on where you can pre-register for the game what's really interesting is if you look here the, there's milestones obviously for the amount of registrations that they get and these are all wrong i mean this is all wrong a silver key has a, a green background and all of the all of the speed ups and everything are purple regardless of how much it is and then you have gray like what is going on here this is a blue a gold key is a blue tier item i i don't know I, this is not cons consistent with what i'm familiar with here in, in the united states but anyway if we click on the link it looks like it brings up some sort of registration page where you can put in your email here and we're greeted on the left here with a character that i've never seen before i've never seen this character in game my assumption is that this is like the tutorial guide equivalent for the vietnamese market you know this woman right here we saw her in our waifu video the one that you're greeted with at the beginning of the game she's standing in the exact same pose same exact posture she even has a similar hairstyle it's just a different color so maybe they've just redesigned this character for the vietnam market so it's just more appealing to those players but it's clear to me that the translation here says that they will launch a new civilization now as i said before we have to take this with a grain of salt okay and i'm not i'm not i'm not being ignorant here i understand that this is probably a poor translation because i do not trust uh google to translate fluent fast spoken Vietnamese speech into accurate Vietnamese text and then translate that Vietnamese text into understandable English okay we have two we're trusty on Google twice there okay it's like that game you played when you were a kid okay somebody comes up with a phrase and then they whisper it in their friend's ear and then they have to whisper whatever they heard to their friend and to their friend I don't know is that game called like telephone or something I don't know what I don't I don't know but at the very end of that line the the phrase that that kid uh tells the class is is almost nothing like the original phrase right because it just goes through so many different uh middlemen before it reaches the end there right and so here we're relying on Google twice to translate first uh from speech to text and text to English and it's probably it's probably not accurate okay it's probably not accurate my assumption is what this is uh is them uh, trying to say rise of kingdoms is launching to a new civilization meaning rise of kingdoms is coming to a new place aka Vietnam which is you know the, the whole point of the video here right so if you are watching this and you know Vietnamese please let me know in the comment section below what she's actually saying is she actually saying the game is getting a new civilization or is she saying that the game itself is coming to a new region but regardless there have been rumors of new civilizations in the works for like a year now we, we've seen these rumors go around there were rumors of Vikings before Vikings actually came out and the same rumors that said the Vikings were coming also predicted that we would be seeing a Persia Greece Africa and Egypt coming to rise of kingdoms as well apparently Persia and Greece are already pretty much 
finished and we're just waiting for them to implement them now again don't take these words as truth okay these are just rumors the they haven't been found in the game there's nowhere okay the, these are nowhere they're just rumors that we've heard through the grapevine but they did predict the Vikings okay so I would love to see these civilizations come to the game now my assumption is that if they do release a new civilization uh they would probably only release one maybe two in a single year I really doubt that they would do uh more than that because you know when you put a new civilization in the game you have to at least have an epic commander that goes with it in the case of Vikings even in the case of like the Ottoman Empire right the Ottoman Empire got two commanders when they came into the game they got Mehmed and of course Osman the first so you know I don't think we would see a release cycle uh very frequently for new civilizations especially if they go the same route as the Vikings if you guys remember in the summer they had a huge marketing push around Vikings right they made it a big deal the Vikings were the core of their marketing for a for like two or three months right all you saw was Viking ads they went out of their way to hire celebrities and they spent money on some of the top influencers on YouTube to do in video integrations and talk about Vikings coming to rise of kingdoms so if they take a new civilization being added to the game as seriously as they did the Vikings every single time moving forward then we can assume that again we're gonna see maybe one civilization or two tops per year and that's exciting to think about right uh, imagine if they did two per year every six months they had a big push with a new civilization I think that would be exciting and it would be a nice way to keep hype going for the game but the more often that they do it the less special it is every time you know if you open a pack of Pokemon cards and every single card in the pack is is a holographic card then it's not really that special but if you open it and the only card in there that's shiny is a Charizard it's like oh my god that's awesome right so obviously keeping these new civilization implementations scarce is nice because it makes each one impactful and hype however with Vikings it was kind of a dud right like the excitement was there and then we found out that Bjorn and Ragnar were just not good they just weren't good so hopefully whatever civilization they release next whether it's in beginning or late 2022 or somewhere in between hopefully the commanders that come with it are actually impactful and are actually usable uh, for the majority of rise of kings players and for the love of god do not put them in gold keys please lilith do just please please pl i'm telling you man nobody liked that nobody liked that i'm, I'm, I'm if you didn't know that <laughs> I'll help you out for free okay nobody liked Ragnar and the gold keys so don't do that shit again okay personally I would love to see Egypt come into the game but I could also be really excited for like Persia and Greece and you know even Africa would be awesome it would be awesome implementations personally I am most excited for Egypt which is also in Africa so again I don't really understand that rumor again Vikings isn't a place either you look here these are all places Vikings are not placed that's not a place right I, I, I don't understand and I didn't really get that I still to this day don't understand that at all but anyway I would love to hear from you guys in the comments what civilization would you like to see them add to rise of kingdoms in 2022 do you think that this is just a poor translation by Google or do you think that they're actually talking about a new civilization coming in the next few months if you made it this far into the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace